I heard from one of you guys, you caught a good one. Based on taxpayer back of the head in his own bed. Your guy put an ad in the singles magazine, right? There's some psycho woman out there killing guys. You wanna know how we catch him? We put our own ad in. We set up dates with 30, 40, 50 of the ladies who answer. We take them out to some restaurant, some bar, get their prints on a wine glass. Bingo, she's dropped. I don't believe in wasting time on this kind of stuff. You know what you know when you go with it. You go with what? I believe in animal attraction. I believe in love at first sight. I believe in this. No offense, but you never did give her prints, did you? She's not the shooter. I have done some desperate, foolish things. You mean like being here with me? Oh. You're a good man. You never know. I always know. <laughs> What are you nuts? You just met her. What are you looking for? Huh? She's a friggin' suspect, Frank. Just walk away. This is getting out of hand. What are you looking for? What are you Have you finally gone round a friggin' pipe? We always have steak on Thursday. I'm not eating shite. Mother, you haven't got enough sugar in this cone cone. You go down and get us another spoon. She's only been back five minutes and she's got me strutting round like R2 bleeding D2. Hiya, Wall. Well, what's wrong with that? There's a woman three doors down, talks to a microwave. Talking to a microwave? Whoa, what's the mail coming to? I think sex is like supermarkets. Just a lot of pushing and shoving and you still come out with very little at the end. The only thing I ever wanted to do was travel. I'd like to drink a glass of wine, sitting by the sea, watching the sun go down. Not a feminist, not like Jane. All men are potential rapists. Even the Pope. Shirley Valentine got married <laughs> to a boy called Joe. But somewhere along the way, the boy called Joe turned into him. I always have my tea at six o'clock. World exclusive. Joe eats late. We were at school together. Marjorie's an air hostess now. I'm not an air hostess. I'm a hooker. <laughs> for the sex. Sex for breakfast, sex for dinner, sex for tea, and sex for supper. Sounds like a marvellous diet, love. It's called the F plan. I hardly recognise myself these days. I love it here. Don't I rock? I've got this little dream about sitting at a table by the edge of the sea. Ah, I move table to edge of sea. I make your dream come true. The only holiday romance I've had is with myself. And I think I've come to like myself, really. I've fallen in love with the idea of living. Sherry, who are you talking? Hello, Costas. Just a wall. Oh, God. I'm Sherry the Brave. Sherry the Marvelous. It's only Valentine. China Lake, a small town on a lonely highway has become a host to an unwanted guest. A rogue cop has taken his vacation. We a hand? No thanks. Very seriously. In China Lake. Cheers, same M.O., same kind of victim, same time. Just what the hell are you trying to say? A worker, you know, a serial killer. You mean psycho? Got it. Mm-hmm.
There's a thin line between good and evil. Coincidences, there are no disappearances. When you were in Bermuda, all the other times coincide exactly with your vacations. Light and dark. Cops and jails don't work out. Sheriff Sam Brody must walk that line. He knows the truth. I can't remember. You can't pick one. But he must find the evidence. Why, Bobby? He was a cop, man. He was one of us. Why him? And time is running out. I can do anything I want, Sam. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Because in China Lake, the population is diminishing. Fast. <laughs> Tom Skerritt, Michael Parks, Nancy Everard, The China Lake Murders. When Clint Goodman built his house of dreams, it was for his wife, Joanna. I built this house because I love you. But she didn't care for his dreams. You know what this is? One big maze. And I'm the rat. In fact, she didn't care for him. But she did care for his money. Enough to kill for it. <laughs> I extracted this from the ovaries of the fish we ate. How does it work? The recipient has a cardiac arrest. We now commend Clint Goodman's soul to Almighty God. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, dust thou art, and dust thou shalt return. Crazy. Now that Joanna Goodman had buried her past, she can live her life to the full. Or at least, that's what she thought.
make sure they stay buried. Buried alive. Where do you live? City. Do you have a house? Apartment. On a ranch? Rent. What do you do for a living? Lots of things. Where's your office? I don't have one. How come? I don't need one. Where's your wife? Don't have one. How come? It's a long story. Do you have kids? No, I don't. How come? It's an even longer story. Are you my dad's brother? I'm your dad's brother, all right. Buck Russell had always been the black sheep of the family. I'm stunned that I'm related to you. Oh. Until one night. Buck, we have a problem with the kids. We're stuck for somebody to watch them. Oh, please, not that. Can I trust him? My brother, for God's sake. I won't let him get into that Satan stuff or any of the new chicks. I'll leave that for me. Wow. <laughs> I'm kidding, huh? Now, he's making them breakfast. Cigar? No, thanks. Making them lunch. <laughs> and making them crazy. <laughs> What did you do? Yeah. He's irresistible. I want to ask you why I'm so attracted to you. I, I wouldn't even guess at that. Oh, oh, oh. He's unbelievable. I'm Anita Orga. I'm Buck Melanoma. Molly Russell's wart. He's Would you just let John Candy. Give me, give me, give me. As Uncle Buck. What does he like to drink? I've been leaving the, the toilet seats up. Is that what the blue water is? It's not good for him, huh? Uncle Buck, the new comedy from John wow. Hughes. You have much more hair on your nose than my dad. Well, nice of you to notice. I'm a kid, that's my job. 